Hi everyone, it's time to travel again and I'm in Miami. I'm not traveling alone, I'm traveling with one of my best friends, Siever Dolson, aka Sogo Bro. Say hi buddy. Hi. In this video we'll show you some of the best things to do in Miami. Check this out. Renting a bike is definitely something to consider. And if you have limited time in Miami and want to see as much as possible, I would really recommend renting a bike. A lot of hotels and hostels on South Beach have some bikes you can rent from them or it could be included in the price. If that's not the case, there are plenty of city bike stations around the city so you would never have a problem finding a bike or a place to return it. For only $4.50 you can rent a bike for 30 minutes. Or if you want, you can rent it longer. In the middle of South Beach you have the famous Ocean Drive. This street is Miami Beach's most iconic one and has been featured in plenty of movies. So by walking around this street makes you feel like you're in one of your favorite movies. The buildings, colorful night lights, fancy cars and the view of palm trees are precisely why this street is so famous. When you first are walking in this iconic street, I would really recommend checking out the Pelican Cafe. Being able to sit here, have a cold beer, a juicy burger or a pizza and just taking what this street got to offer is amazing. After a tasty meal on Ocean Drive, head across the street to Lummus Park and have a solid workout. Either bodyweight, volleyball or join a group that comes to work out. We decided to check out Soccer Shape and working out on the beach in the hot temperature is fantastic. You're both feeling the muscle working and getting that tan in. No matter when during the day you check this spot out, there will be tons of people here working out and playing volleyball. So don't be surprised if you get a crowd watching you during your workout. Since you're so close to the beach now, you might as well check out what the fuss about this fantastic beach is all about. If the weather is nice, the beach is picking up more and more during the day, and it's a perfect place to come and relax. The weather is usually good in Miami, so going into the water is always an alternative. Or maybe you just want to hang out and play around with a ball. On top of being on this beach and relax, you get to see some really iconic Miami lifeguard houses. You will always see someone posting in front of them no matter when you're there during the day. So if you want to get that perfect shot, you might have to come early. And talking about early, if that's alright with you, I will really recommend getting up early to see the fantastic sunrise you can see when you are in Miami. Getting up when no one is around, watching the colors of the sky, slowly getting more and more red before the sun decides to say hi. I think watching the sunrise from the beach in Miami is a must. And you get the whole beach to yourself, which is awesome. If you walk all the way south to the end of Miami Beach, you get to Point Pier. At this spot, you can get an amazing view towards downtown Miami, but also see how long Miami Beach is. The blue water with big boats make this the perfect place to take in some of what Miami Beach got to offer. If you don't mind all the tourists, this place is something you will really enjoy. Just walking around Miami Beach is awesome. I would even recommend walking in the direction of downtown Miami. And if you do so, you get the view from downtown Miami over to Miami Beach, which is cool. And when you are in downtown Miami, there's a few things that you can check out. One of them is to go over to Little Havana and check out the Cuban area of the city. Take time to see how they make Cuban cigars from scratch with their hands in the street. Just by getting a little bit away from Miami Beach, you're suddenly in a completely different environment and that is something I appreciate a lot. Next up on this side of the city is the Windward Waltz. The Windward Waltz have brought the world's most celebrated artists working in the graffiti and street art genre to Miami. All you need is to walk around and take this in since it's so fascinating. Being able to see all the small details that the artist was able to create in each wall. But just so you are aware of it, this place is filled with other tourists, so if you want to get that perfect shot, you might have to be patient. This is free and everyone can come and watch the art. The last thing we decided to do on the downtown Miami side was to watch a sports event, which I really think you should try to do. We decided to go to Airline Stadium and watch Miami Heat play against Boston Celtics in basketball. The atmosphere and the whole buildup is amazing, and you're just left with good vibes. Additionally, what these players are capable of is mind-blowing. The last thing to do when you are in Miami is to catch a sunset. Bring some friends to the beach or a place where you can see in the direction of downtown Miami and see the sun slowly get down behind the skyscrapers. Most of the things that I mentioned are free and available to everyone, so even though many things the city is very costly, most of the stuff I just showed are free and open to everyone. I really hope you liked what you just saw and if that's the case, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel.